Hey Sash, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. So here we're about to do a general love reading. It may not resonate with every person. Just take what parts fit for your situation if it does and leave the rest if it doesn't. Let's start with you first and then we'll get to them, okay? So you got the Eight of Wands, Eight of Cups, the Hangman, and the Devil in your recent past position. The Eight of Wands speaks about communication, okay? So I don't know if this is someone that you are actually involved with or if you guys do talk or deal with each other to some degree, but I feel like some of you, you were willing to put energy into this, okay? Or, you know, talk to this person, but then you stopped or you pulled away, okay? So the Eight of Cups is about walking away from something or maybe you just became kind of distant with this person, okay? Because I feel like... um with the hangman in this devil card some of you you do think about this person or there is still some sort of an attachment here but you may also feel like this connection is a bit toxic or complicated okay now they've got the four of swords the six of swords the two of cups and the five of wands in their recent past position okay now some of you they left or they started to pull away from you they stopped reaching out or they just haven't really been taking much action here but there's still some sort of an emotional attachment they feel towards you okay sag with this two of cups some of you they're in another relationship and they're ready to leave okay they're ready to leave that other person if that's the case here but i feel like with the two of cups this person does see you as a soulmate or someone that they can have a very strong bond with but they may also have a jealous streak okay with this five of wands or this was them feeling conflicted about this situation like should i stay away from this and move on or work on things here okay so i feel like this person is um need to make a choice or decision about this uh, moving forward. And I feel like intuitively they want to, okay? Now, um, you've got the Two of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, the King of Swords, and the Three of Cups in your current position. Some of you, um, you're in two minds about this person though. Yep, it's like a part of you wants this, but then you don't. Or it's like, should I stay? Should I go? You know, so I feel like you're kind of up in the air about this situation. Even if you do see this person as wish fulfillment or there is attraction, desire here, it's something about this person or the situation that does draw you in or satisfies you. But at the same time, you're detached, okay, with the King of Swords, if that makes sense. So I feel like some of you are not really revealing your emotions to this person. Some of you may have cut them off, yep. Or you have... um some of you, you don't really want to be involved in a third party situation, okay? If this person has someone else, or maybe you do, I don't know, but I do see other people being um, involved in this uh, connection somehow, okay? But yeah, the Three of Cups here can speak about reconciliation or people coming together. So some of you are interested in seeing this person and you're just not showing it or really revealing your um, your emotions to them, okay? Now in their current position, they've got the Seven of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles, all right? Yeah, this person, they, um, I feel like they were or they are still a little bit confused, but they're coming out of this energy, okay? Because I feel like they, um, they have other choices or other options here with the Seven of Cups. This person does a lot of fantasizing about you too, a lot of daydream or wishful thinking. But um, if you're the one who, again, walked away or pulled away, they do feel kind of ignored by you or rejected here with this Five of Pentacles. But I feel like they want to come out of the cold, okay? They still have love for you with this Knight of Cups. They may want to move things forward. And some of you, they see you as marriage material or someone who they could be in a serious uh, relationship with, okay? With that Ten of Pentacles, that stability, family, and um, something being built on a solid foundation, okay? Now, um, and they could also be working on their finances too, okay? Some of you, they're struggling and they're trying to, you know, improve their financial situation. Others of you, they're doing very well, okay? Financially with this Ten of Pentacles. But um, anyway, in your near future, you've got the lover. Some of you, this is a Gemini. I also see Capricorn here. Pisces is here as well. Doesn't have to be, could be anyone. But yeah, you got the lovers, the high priestess, the devil again, and the page of Pentacles. All right. So yeah, some of you do have love for this person. You are attracted to them, drawn to them. Okay. Especially with the devil uh, being here as well. But I feel like you are still pulling away. Okay. With the high priestess, this is... um silence or you just not putting a whole lot of energy into this even though you do want it some of you you are breadcrumbing this person okay or just not um you know diving head first into this or you know investing a hundred percent okay as far as your emotions or time into this person it's like you're giving them a little bit but um not being a hundred percent there if if that makes sense all right so they've got the page of cups five of swords ace of pentacles and the ace of swords in their near future this person does have love for you some of you this person is younger than you you may have a child with this person for a few of you 
but I feel like they um they want to make some sort of offer to you now some of you they feel defeated though a little bit in this situation or like something's not really going their way or maybe you guys aren't quite on the same page here but I feel like they want a new start some of you this is a new person altogether but I feel like with these two aces this person is serious about you okay Sag this is a serious offer here the ace of um swords is mental clarity it's them knowing what they want all right and in this case it definitely could be you all right so yeah but I feel like they have to um maybe get out of another situation with the six of swords or make a choice okay between you and someone else all right so that's what came out you guys if this resonated feel free to like and subscribe okay I appreciate you guys tuning in wish you the best take care